seen, the weather went a bit, a bit, um, uh, a bit horrible. Let's just say that. Um, so we're now dealing with a lot of surface, standing surface water. Um, the roads will be greasy as well. Obviously, with them having been dry for so long. So I'll take that into consideration. Obviously break a lot sooner than what I uh, would in the dry now because the weight of the trailer will start to push the unit around. Um, the last thing I want to be doing is breaking, going around a corner or a roundabout or something like that because it will just end up jackknifing. Possibly. Not for definite, just possibly. So I'll just obviously bear that into consideration now. Um, like I say, we're nearly there. Um, it, traffic was all right. It just got a little bit heavy because of the weather. Everybody kind of slowed down and backed up a bit, which is uh, fair enough because there was a lot of surface water and spray as well. So hopefully we shouldn't be at this one at this delivery too long I mean it's 20 past 7 now um, so I don't mind really well yeah really I don't mind if we're here for a while because um, obviously all morning rush hour traffic's on at the moment and I'll have to sit in it to get to the next delivery so Try and not spin the uh, drive wheels. Wheel spinach. It's just struggling because of the weight and how wet the road is. Um, but yeah, we shouldn't really be here too long. not that many pallets I think it's only six or seven pallets but like I say if we're here a, a bit of a while I'm not overly fussed because it will give some of this traffic chance to uh, clear off so um, it's a bit of an annoyance that they put it on this way round I'd have preferred to have done Snodland and then here because I'm gonna to have to go from here I have pretty much drove past Snodland to get to here and then I'm gonna go from here obviously back to Snodland and then from Snodland back to here to park up for the night um, it's a little bit of an annoyance but never mind There's not a lot we can do about it it's the way it gets booked and loaded on, so we have to make do with what we've got. Slow her down well before the roundabout. Last thing I want is that trailer pushing me around. It's a little bit bumpy down here, so I do apologise. Fifteen degrees. It's definitely a lot cooler. Definitely a lot cooler, back in trousers and jumper. And then uh, all the way to the end, and then we will have arrived. So, like I say, it's not been too bad of a journey down here. Oh, I do apologise for the squeaky noise. I've got a bloody squeaky driver's seat. I'm not happy because it went to Scania without a squeaky driver's seat. They done their six weekly service on it and it's come back with a squeaky seat. 
Um, I managed to fix it yesterday, but it's squeaking again today, so I'll have to put some more lubrication on it to try and stop it squeaking again. flip the forward face facing camera around and put it on myself there we go oh uh, yeah we go through this gap <sighs> da, 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 da. Oh, and that barrier is closed wonderful so we just go through this one anyway bring her to us That's it, we are in. Twenty-five past seven. It's not too bad. Finds the uh, the chill department now. What's going on here with you? There we go. That's a bit better. Nothing coming. Good. Good. Pretty sure this one's all the way at the end. We just never a hundred percent remember. Chill in, keep going, champion. Dooby dooby doo. No chance of getting suntan today. Seat. Trying to work out why it's squeaking, which bit of it is actually squeaking. Yeah, all the way at the end, I thought it was. And this is another one of these uh, depot layouts where you have to park up first and then go in and then find out a bay number and then move it onto the bay. Hmm, bays are quite empty though. Sleep. Right, I'll be back in a bit. Right, that's it done. That's Morrison's sitting born ticked. It is just coming up to eight o'clock, so it wasn't too bad, didn't take them that long at all. Um, and the sun's out, so start to dry everything up the only problem is it's making everything really horrible to try see because the sun's reflecting off everything get the sunglasses on there we go that's better so now we're off to uh, Tesco's at Snodland uh, it's about 45 minutes away from here um, obviously still got to bear in mind the roads are going to be greasy until they dry out So yeah, it's about 45 minutes drive, which isn't too bad. Uh, current ETA 20 to 9, and I am booked to be there at 11. Right, so they might not let me in. Um, just depends 
how busy they are. I know they sometimes are quite busy, so they have a tendency to say, no, you're not coming in until you're nearer your booking time. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what we can do. Um, hopefully they will let me in, it'd be nice. It'd be nice to be able to get in, get it tipped, get it off, and then um, get out and uh, get over to Spade Lane to park up for the night. Well, drop the trailer and park up. Um, I'm going to need fuel at some point. Um, I might get that tomorrow morning. I might get it like, this afternoon. And as long as the weather stays nice, which it looks like it might do now, I will uh, get the truck and the trailer washed because it's one of our trailers so I'll get um, I'll get both of them washed which is just on the industrial estate near here anyway so we've got to come this way so it's it's no like it's not out of our way um, keep her looking nice and clean and the trailer could do with a wash anyway so Yeah, that's the that's the uh, the plan of attack for the rest of the day. But it all depends on what happens at Tesco's at Snodland. Obviously, if they take ages or if they hold me back to eleven o'clock and then still take ages, um, that can change everything because I could be running out of time, stuff like that. This squeaky seat is really annoying me now. Um, are we all indicating? So yeah, it's just we'll see, we'll see how we get on down at. Oh, it's really annoying this squeaky seat is now. See how we get on down at Tesco Snodland, and I'll go from there. So uh, let's get crack a lack in. <coughs> I'm actually just going to 
keep the speed behind it. Say thank you to that car that let me back in. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go past it. But, yeah, if you know, just uh, either drop it in the comments below or message me on the Facebook page, please. I'd be really interested to know. I will try and find out myself on Google when I uh, park up. But, yeah, I just thought I'd uh, show you that. As you've probably seen, we got stuck in a bit of traffic, but it doesn't matter. I'm well and truly early, so getting stuck in a bit of traffic doesn't bother me in the slightest. Um, like I say, hopefully they let us in. If not, I'll have to come back out and hopefully be able to get uh, parked up in the lay-by, because it's got a... Uh, a butty wagon in it and I'll, uh, I'll get some breakfast and just uh, have a chill out for a bit but it'll be nice to be able to get in and get tipped so hopefully fingers crossed I can because I can always get a butty on the way out if they let us in to tip so but I don't know whether they will because I'm like, I'm quite a bit early. I'm not just a little bit, I'm like two hours and 15 minutes early. So I've got a funny feeling they'll probably say no. But if you don't ask, you never know, do you? Oh, it looks absolutely chocker in that lay by as well. Great. It's the one on the right hand side, basically, the lay by I want to get in. But I'll find a space, I'll make a space. But I've got to go try, got to try Tesco's first. Because if I just go park up there, there could have been a chance that I could have got in, so. Like I say, there's no harm in asking. The worst they can say is no, go away come back later so dooby 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 doo right I shall uh, go find out and I'll catch you in a bit okay we are obviously out of Tesco's uh, it is now five to ten um, we got out at 20 to 10. Um, I've just pulled in that lay-by, grabbed myself a breakfast uh, stick. Obviously, I'm bringing it with me. I'll eat it when I uh, get parked up. Um, so we are completely empty. And I'm now gonna go um, see if I can get the truck and trailer washed. Um, get a look in back, oh, none of you lot want to move do you? Get a back look in, um, two seconds, I'm just, none of this lot are moving over and there's no traffic alongside them whatsoever. There you eventually got the idea, only because I forced him over. Fair enough, he's trying to go left light, but it was a bit ridiculous that none of them would move. Anyway, yes, uh, I'm now going to go see if I can get the uh, truck and trailer washed. Um, 
get that done and then I will get over to IPL Speed Lane this squeaky seat is really annoying me now um, I'll get over to Spade Lane get the trailer dropped in there get parked up and I'll get fuel tomorrow on the route I've got 41% diesel and 42% add blue so it would that much would probably even get me um, I mean it's not confirmed yet but from the fact of where I'm going I'm gonna say I'm going up to Asda Skelmersdale um, and this much fuel will get me up there but I know there's a few fuel points on the way that I can use so it's not a rush to get the fuel today and if I was to get it today it'd be going out of my way a bit so I'm not going to go out of my way to get the fuel especially as I can get it on route tomorrow so uh, yeah I shall um, get on with it get us to the uh, To the truck wash, get her all washed and looking spick and span. So I shall uh, see you in a bit. Okay, so that's the truck and trailer washed, nice and clean. Um, or at least it was when I left there. Hopefully it still is when I park up. Um, so that's all done. So now obviously I'm on my way to uh, Spade Lane to drop the trailer in and then park up for the uh, night. And if I'm doing what I think I'm doing in the morning, uh, it'll be a late start for me. I don't normally run until five o'clock in the morning five six o'clock so it'll be quite a bit of time off and um, hopefully I can get in the uh, spot that I like to get in which is like that little lay-by that I was in last time because um, it's got some uh, trees for shade and it's uh, obviously tucked out of the way so it's it's a nice little spot um, so yeah, hope, hopefully I can get in that one, but I shall find out. Um, it's only a couple of minutes up the road driving, um, so I will end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry it's not been riveting and exciting stuff and action packed. But um, what can we do? So uh, thank you very much. And uh, I will catch you in the next video.